Yeah, good morning, everyone. Thanks for uh, coming out. And uh, I was talking to Anthony last night saying, hey, is this an indoor? Are we doing indoors or outdoors? And unfortunately, the weather cooperated. So uh, I think this will be our last uh, outdoor event for the, for the uh, year. And it's a great event to kick off. And thanks all for joining me. Uh, before I get, uh, begin, uh, you know, a comment, I certainly want to thank uh, Dwayne Warren, the, the Mayor Warren here. Uh, been a great partner for us. Uh, we uh, recently had a ground baking uh, over in uh, Orange for the uh, 209 residential unit building uh, at Essex and Crane, uh, part of transit-oriented development. As you see all along the tracks now, you ride the system. Uh, there's development going around all our stations, the hub. You really see a, a lot going on. Um, and it's, a, it's an exciting time to be at, at transit. Um, also, uh, in addition to the mayor, I want to thank uh, City uh, Director of Public Works, Marty Mays, uh, is also here with us. So, uh, Marty, it's all your other. Thanks for, for, thanks for being here. And uh, most importantly, uh, and we're very uh, grateful and fortunate to have with us uh, Tasha Adam Fox, and who arrived on one of our trains. Thank you, Tasha. <laughs> Good advertising. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Vice President and General Manager of Travel and Entertainment for American Express. And uh, thank you, Tasha, for be being here and for your company's uh, generous uh, sponsorship that support our commitment to uh, cleaner, more connected, more beautiful New Jersey. Um, I would say, uh, you know, make a few comments, but uh, we were talking with Tasha and her uh, uh, partners uh, at American Express earlier. And for me, who uh, many of you wear my background, I was in charge of the 9-11 recovery, uh, the economic recovery of Lower Manhattan after, uh, you know, after uh, the World Trade Center attacks. And American Express could not have been a, a better uh, partner in really everything from, you know, repopulating Lower Manhattan, uh, the Tribeca Film Festival, you name it. I mean, American Express, whether it be, you know, uh, helping save New York City after 9-11 to, you know, uh, helping uh, revitalize stations. Uh, you could not ask for a better partner than American Express. And uh, Tasha, you're with a great group, and thanks for joining us. And finally, uh, I would also like to thank the members of Vision for Orange Foundation who have joined us here today. We'll hear more uh, in a minute and uh, from Justice. And um, so uh, certainly the Vision for Orange Foundation uh, is formally adopting Highland Avenue Station, making them the first group to do so as part of our official relaunch of the program uh, to uh, adopt a station. Uh, you know, uh, there had been a program years ago, and it fell by the wayside. And uh, as New Jersey Transit is uh, really making its comeback the last few years, we realize this is another part of uh, that comeback. Um, so uh, Foundation is a civic organization committed to community empowerment uh, by promoting urban development, social cohesion, and particularly youth excellence. So <coughs> be, as I said, be hearing from Justice in a second. Um, I'd like to uh, begin by pointing out that uh, New Jersey Transit is currently advancing uh, significant infrastructure improvements at over 20 uh, New Jersey Transit rail stations. It's either in, uh, in design or active uh, construction. And this is the most active station work in our rail systems any time since the 1800s. You know, if you look, if you're taking a train in any of our systems, now you'll see a lot of work going on stations, new bridges you know, that have been built, you know, including Portal uh, Bridge, the infamous 110-year-old uh, bridge, uh, Raritan uh, Bridge, uh, same kind of situation. So we really are rebuilding the whole network. But the uh, stations are the, uh, you know, are sort of, for most of us commuters, you know, the stations are your gateway both to the community as well as to New Jersey Transit. So, uh, you know, this relaunching of uh, NJ Transit's adoptive station program uh, really signific significantly complements uh, all the work that we're doing to make our uh, system, New Jersey Transit, uh, that much more attractive for uh, our customers and our communities. Um, I think uh, we, we are taking this station uh, today at Highland, uh, Highland Avenue. Um, this one, as I say, we have more than 165 rail stations, uh, and uh, they're essential elements of the community. And in relaunching this program together with American Express, we really, I think, get a chance to show the, uh, the pride and can-do spirit of, of New Jersey uh, and New Jerseyans to help make our stations and our communities more beautiful than ever before. Uh, and again, uh, uh, very grateful to American Express for sponsoring this program. Uh, so, bottom line, this is, this is how it works. Uh, all you have to do is gather some friends or colleagues or perhaps a community organization, part of a, you're already part of a community group, and visit njtransit.com slash adopt, where you'll uh, tell us which station you'd like to improve and how often you'd like to help out. Then you and your group get started and uh, you know, uh, supporting your station's upkeep through periodic efforts such as planting and caring for flowers, removing litter, 
uh, light landscaping uh, and maintenance. Um, and thanks to MX's uh, generous support, NJ Transit will be supplying you with all the necessary materials you'll need, including uh, branded safety v uh, vests, gloves, trash bags if you need them. Uh, I told Anthony we'll even pick up the trash if you, you know, when you, when you, for, your, for your efforts. So, uh, you know, no excuse not to, not to get in on the program. And uh, obviously, we also the community groups are recognized at the at the station uh, through signage. So, in short, this is a way for groups throughout the state to make a difference in their communities, and particularly a positive uh, difference in the quality of life for the residents uh, in the community surrounding the stations. So, uh, again, uh, to wrap up, I'd like to thank uh, Tasha and American Express uh, for helping us do the relaunch, and uh, again, Mayor Warren and Director Mays um, for. Uh, all the help they have in putting this together and congratulate them on uh, Highland Avenue Station being the first to be adopted by uh, the Vision of Orange Foundation. So with that, uh, Mayor, it's uh, my pleasure to ask you to come up and say a few words. Thank you very much and thank you for coming Today is a historic day because we relaunch Adopt the Station, but it also means that commuters in Orange and in the region get a boost um, from public participation, something that we all uh, look for each and every day. Um, before I get started, I would like to thank Marty and his team from City Hall, because without them, this doesn't happen. Without him cajoling me to make sure that we respond and we get everything on target, it doesn't happen. Um, so, Marty, thank you and your team for all that you do for the city of Orange Township. <laughs> New Jersey Transit has certainly been a special partner to us um, throughout this endeavor and others as well. And um, there's a person who's been our contact, uh, Jahara Pressey, who was uh, an employee of Orange, and we birthed her and sent her out to the world to lead. And now she's come back with all these benefits. Jahara Pressey, thank you for all that you do. Uh, the city of Orange Township has been steadfast in its commitment to revitalize the Highland Avenue train station and today's announcement by New Jersey Transit of the relaunch of the Adopt This uh, Station program is vital to our efforts to make Orange the hub of the transit village community idea. A clean, accessible station adds to the vitality of our community and its significance to the region. This is our way of taking ownership of a center point in Orange by the Adopt This Station program. Now, having this station in the caring hands, and sir, I'm going to make some announcements that people don't know about, um, but to have volunteers like the Vision for Orange uh, Foundation, having volunteers like the people I'm about to name as their own cohorts and volunteers for the station, um, one named Adrian Wooten, councilperson, one named councilperson Weldon Montague, councilperson Quantavia Hilbert, council vice president Cliff Ross. That in and of itself is a unit of elected persons who've agreed to be a part of this volunteer adopt the station uh, effort, and I want to thank them for their generosity and their care in this regard. I also want to thank our Board of Education. Its president, Janiqua Johnson, um, has agreed to be part of the program together with Fatima Turner, board member, who is present to make sure that all hands are on deck and making sure that the Highland Avenue train station uh, is successful. But the thing that we try to preach is that we want to lead by example. And from the top of the administration all the way down, we're being volunteers for this effort, and we hope that the public will follow us as well. In fact, we've asked for Tima Turner, would she take a look inside to see if our facilities can somehow mimic what she has going on at the Inner City Cafe, so we're still waiting for that as well. I do want to provide an update to our city on our efforts to revitalize the station. We received uh, from federal dollars administered through the Department of Transportation here in New Jersey, uh, nearly $1.2 million. And we're about a little bit of a third left so that we can revitalize the station. We've gotten bids in, the plans are in. Everything is ready except for this last tranche of money that we're applying for as we speak. Um, so this volunteer effort comes at a very timely point um, in our history where we're going to make this uh, the leading station in the region. Um, and finally, a word about our sponsors. American Express, whom I use on a regular basis, 
uh, as I go throughout town. Um, but your philanthropic and your charitable portion of your organization is tremendous. Um, I know you do stuff all over the region for you to come to Orange. We're certainly grateful um, to be tapped for this effort. And But I got to warn you that once you get tapped into this effort, my council people will seize upon you to make sure that you support other efforts that we'll do throughout the city. But we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, to the public at large, please volunteer whenever you can, however you can. But this station uh, means a lot to our communities. It means a lot to our region and certainly to our city. And as the mayor, I'll put every resource behind making sure that it is one of the pinnacles of success throughout this particular line. Jersey Transit, thank you very much. Uh, th thank you, Mayor. And uh, if you have any more like Jahara, not that we're looking to steal anybody, but, you know, if they're ready to spread the ring, we, we, you know, we can't send them our way, please. We're hiring. Um, and now I'd like to turn it over to you. Know, the, uh, everyone's been talking about Tasha, but then we get to hear from her directly. So uh, Natasha, Vice President and General Manager, as I said, of Travel and Entertainment at American Express. And if some, thanks so much for coming here today. Come on up. A little short there, so I'm going to bring this down. Good morning, everyone. Grand Rising. Grand Rising. Um, I want to say good morning to my fellow New Jersey transit commuters. I am. Good morning to our New Jersey transit res or New Jersey residents, as am I. It has been an honor to be partners with New Jersey Transit. Um, our relationship spans over 25 years. So when we were approached to do a partnership to help relaunch Adopt a Station, we answered very simply, yes, and how can we be of service? We know that transit is an important part of our everyday lives. Uh, New Jersey Transit alone transports and services over 800,000 commuters on a daily basis. That's a lot. They help us get to and from work, and they also keep us connected to our families and our communities. Um, we know that the public is always waiting to make sure that the trains are on time, and I can testify this morning Full transparency, I was gonna catch an Uber. They canceled on me twice. Ask me how I got here. New Jersey in transit and on time. <laughs> um, <laughs> as commuters, um, we are also doing our part to reduce greenhouse emissions and congestion. At American Express, we hold the same environmental values with ESG, environmental, social, and governance. And on a personal note, as I've mentioned, I've been a New Jersey transit commuter for over 17 years. And during my commute to and from the city, I've had the pleasure of watching the neighborhoods and the surrounding communities flourish and evolve on an economic growth. I just met Fatima, and I'm excited to hear about her, her company coming here, her, her cafe. But it's, it's small businesses like this that, that really makes the community strong. I'm going to say this from a personal level, and I, know, I feel like the audience will agree, that a strong economy requires a strong community, right? I'm going to repeat that. A strong economy requires a strong community. That is why we are honored at American Express to be partners with New Jersey Transit, with their commitment to the community and helping it grow. Whether we're collaborating on station beautification or enabling tap to pay on New Jersey transit buses, we look forward to continuous growth as well as innovation within the communities and our commuters. On behalf of American Express, thank you New Jersey Transit very much. Kevin Corbett, Mayor Warren, for your vision, your commitment to the community, and your partnership with American Express. Thank you, onward and upward. Thank you, Tasha. And, uh, you know, you're right when you touch on that, the uh, community. And I think we all saw through the pandemic when, you know, at the worst, and we were, when we were single-digit ridership, we were the essential service. And I said, we have to keep our service going for the, a lot of people who don't have cars and, you know, who are the essential workers. But, you know, particularly if they're on the lower uh, end of the socioeconomic uh, 
uh, spectrum. They did not have, and they needed us, and uh, the amount of recognition we got at that time was like, wow, you guys are really part of the community. And, you know, we do our best, uh, and we've had a really blessing the last number of years to uh, get, get the support and the resources we need to bring uh, New Jersey Transit back to the rightful role as, a, uh, you know, one of the top transit agencies in the country. But there's a limit to what we can do, uh, you know, just all on our own, and that's where being part of the community, uh, Tasha, that you touched on is uh, – really um, where we really love these kind of programs to be able to complement and fill some of the gaps that we uh, uh, that we can't do and uh, you know get that little extra and that's why uh, uh, you know I'm up here talking but we know mayor the one who's really going to be doing the work is Justice Sims and his friends uh, from the Vision from Orange Foundation the group who are actually doing the adopting will be doing the work so uh, with that uh, Justice you want to come up and say a few words? Great morning, everyone. My name is Justice Sims, a representative from Vision for Orange Foundation, and I would like to give a major thank you to the city of Orange, to the citizens of Orange, to all of you here today, um, to the mayor, to the city council, um, and most importantly to NJ Transit for allowing us this opportunity to be able to adopt the station and serve our community in a greater capacity. We are setting out to add to the history of the station making sure that this station becomes a centerpiece of our community as a whole. Throughout the millions of dollars of development throughout our city, this becomes a staple of who we are because this creates that centerpiece and that line of transition for each of our citizens. Throughout Vision for Orange Foundation, our mission is to educate, to mentor, and to build throughout our community. Us coming in, being able to adopt this mission, allows us that ability. For Vision of Orange Foundation, we are setting out to unite our community and to highlight the positives of our community. For we are great as one, so we must come together as one. So again, I would like to give a major thank you for allowing us the ability to volunteer for our city to give back, for we are all from this area. We grew up in this area, and we have strong ties to the people of this area. So again, thank you, Mayor, thank you, City Council, and thank you to the citizens and the residents of Orange, New Jersey. All right, Justice, thank you. All right, well, thank you. So that, uh, that concludes the, uh, the comments. I think uh, now, like, uh, ask the Mayor, Director Mays, uh, and um, our friends from Amex to uh, join us uh, for uh, some photos, and then uh, if uh, I know, Anthony, if there are any press, press, press questions, we can do those afterwards. Uh, but uh, well, let's get the uh, photos, and uh, Tasha, do you want to join us? And 